Did you know that your LiveView LU300 has the ability to store locally and forward your videos once it's back in the area where there's 4G or LTE coverage? Hi, my name is Petro Verbruggen from Techcano, and in this video I'll explain the store and forward feature. I do this in two use cases. First and foremost, with the LU300 with you, or alternatively, if it's not with you, it's somewhere remotely and you want to connect to it remotely. Let's do that one first. <laughs> Okay, welcome to the Live View Central web portal. Um, in this uh, scenario, I have a field unit that is remote. So we can control it via Live View Central. Sign in and select the Live View unit that you're interested in. In our case, of course, that's the LU300. And once you selected it, you can just go ahead and on the right hand side, click store and forward like so. And um, well, let's see if we still have some files from previous times. So there are no files on the LU2000 uh, server, which I have on-premise. And let's start the thing. Let's start it up. Now, the LiveView field unit, the LU300, is now in control by LiveView Central. And it is now pushing out some data to the card, which is local to the LiveView300. And I think that this is enough to showcase it. If you click on stop, yes, I want to stop, of course. It's con converting and boom, it should be forwarded right now. So let's see in the files. And there you have it. The file just entered the LU2000. And on the right hand side, you notice that you can play it directly to SDI. What we just did on LiveView Central, we can actually also do on the device itself, on the LU300. Uh, the way that we do that is that we have to change the mode from live to store and forward. That can be done by selecting the jog wheel. So entering right now like so, and then go to mode, select that, go to store and forward, select that. And basically that's the, that, but we want to do a little bit more. So let's go into the settings and the store and forward settings right here. And as you can see, you can not only do the prefix, but also the quality. And the HD quality at this moment is set to 8 megabits per second, but it can also be 3 megabits per second. We stick with the standard. Change the prefix, and it's a little bit small for me, but I want to change it to, uh, well, let's say Tech Condo, so RTC. That's a T. And let's see, the C should be in the last line. Oh, yeah, there it is. Let me navigate to that. A C and hit uh, done. So you can see everything can be done on the device itself. There you go. Prefixes TC back, back, back. And all I have to do is now to, well, press the play pause button to start storing the video locally on the machine. So the machine itself has some uh, storage capacity, which can be extended by a micro SD card. And it's connecting and there you go. So it's f storing locally some video. Um, and here you can see the kilobits per second going. And once we are satisfied with this, uh, Apart, we can actually also stop it by selecting the play pause uh, button twice. And there you have it. It's forwarding, you just saw it, and it's ready. Let's verify if it's also now on the LU2000 server on premise. Let's log on to Live View Central and select the Live View field unit that you're interested in and go to Files. And yep, they're there. There are two files now, and one of them is has a TC in front of it. And we can now push it to SDI if we would like to. So now you have seen the store and forward feature in action. What kind of scenarios do you think that you could use this feature for? Please let me know in the comments below. And also please subscribe to this channel if you like this video. And hit the bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. I also want to know if you have any other questions about the LU300 so that I can also make a video on that one. So I'll uh, wait for that. Thank you so much. Have a good one.